Here is integrated three, it's 10-192. It says atmospheric pressure P in pounds per square inch under a typical under typical conditions can be approximately calculated by using the formula below, where H represents the number of feet above sea level. And so here's a little formula for you. What's the pressure at sea level? So all you have to do with this kind of problem is know how to push the buttons on your calculator and plug in numbers for H. So sea level H would be zero because it'd be zero feet above sea level. So I just, I wrote it out. And then maybe the question is, well, this one you don't have to use your calculator for because zero times this number is just gonna make zero. And then E to the zero, anything to the zero power is one. So that one you didn't really need to break out your calculator. The next one, they ask you a question. Um, they want the atmospheric pressure at the mile high city of Denver. So now we have to know that a mile is 5,280 feet because this H is measured in feet above uh, sea level. So, and I accidentally wrote a, that's a three, not an E. I wrote an E there. Yeah. So um, I just wrote down the formula. And then I just plugged in for H, 5,280. So you might be wondering um, how to get it into your calculator, perhaps. So here's how I put it in my calculator. I, I know that my calculator is smart enough to know the order of operations. But I still do usually try to do this part first and then multiply it by 14.7 just because I'm superstitious. So on my calculator, I have a little LN key. And so if I push shift LN, it'll let me raise E to whatever power I want to. And I want to raise E to the negative, just push the little negative sign, um, 0 0.00040 and a three. And then I'm just going to open some parentheses on my calculator and your calculator might not be as easy going as my calculator. My calculator just lets me do what I want. So now I'm, I'm going to push equal just to make sure that it knows um, that I want that all together. And then I want to multiply that by 14.7. That's how I do it. And I got 12.546, which is 12.55. Um, on this one, um, it asks, the question is Death Valley. So 280 feet below sea level. So that means negative feet. Because if it's, you know, how many feet above, this is a negative amount of feet above sea level. So I'm going to try to type it in. Um, just type it all in and trust that my calculator uh, knows how to do it. E, and we'll see how that goes. Negative. Oh, you can't see what I'm typing, sorry. Negative. Um, I just tried to type it in exactly just the way it is just to see if my calculator and I are on the same page and we'll see if I get the right answer yeah so it doesn't I mean if you type it in correctly and you know how to use your calculator you should just be able to type this in so it's 14.83 it rounds to